Here we're going to simplify a couple of expressions um, that are slightly more complicated than the ones we did before. So uh, when we have multiple types of terms involved, um, a good thing to do right off the bat is to identify any like terms with one another. So notice I've got negative 3.2y and this 0.8y. So they have the same variable and they're raised to the same power, so they're like terms. Right? And then we have 6 and then minus 2.1x. Um, but neither of these are like terms with each other and they're certainly not alike with the two uh, y terms. So what we want to do at this point is maybe reorder all this. Now, the best way I think to reorder these things is to understand that you can move things around all you want. Because remember, we can uh, use the commutative property of addition to move things around. However, when we have a subtraction sign, we have to be a little bit careful because there is no commutative property of subtraction. But what we can do is use the fact that subtracting is the same as adding the opposite, right? So if this was plus negative 0.8y, then I could move the plus negative 0.8y over next to the negative 3.2y. But we know that plus negative 0.8y is the same as minus 0.8y. So all of that mess that I just said is all to say we can move things around and use the commutative property but just make sure that whatever symbol is in front of the term you're moving make sure it stays with it. Right? So if this is a plus out here you'd have a plus here but since it's a minus we have a minus right there. And then the plus 6 doesn't move the minus 2.1x doesn't move. All right, and then we need to combine these, so that really amounts to just figuring out what negative 3.2 minus 0 0.8 is. But that's just plus negative 0 0.8, which is negative 4. So we end up with negative 4y plus 6 minus 2.1x. All right, now in this example, uh, let's look at this 2. Does 2 have any like terms? Well, sure it does. 2 and 3 are both terms that are constants, right? They don't have any variables. Um, how about my minus 7x? Well, this has an x, and then this minus 5x has an x as well. Now remember, this minus 2x squared is not a like term with the 7x or the 5x because it has a power of 2 on it. When the exponents are different, you cannot have like terms. So what we'll do here is reorder all this a little bit. So we'll have our 2 plus 3, so reordering that. Whenever there's lots of terms, it's not a bad idea to maybe after you write the term, just lightly cross it out so you know that you've taken care of it negative 7x or minus 7x and then again we can move the minus 5x to be right after the minus 7x as long as we keep that minus sign with it. All right. So 2 plus 3 is 5, negative 7 minus 5 is really negative 7 plus negative 5 so that's minus 12x minus 2x squared. Okay, uh, and, and at this point this is an acceptable way to write the answer, um, but one thing just to be aware of is later on, um, particularly in the next class you take in algebra, um, one thing you'll find really helpful is to write something that looks like this in descending order, and what that means is you put the largest exponent term first and then go down from there. So if you were to put this in descending order, you'd put negative 2x squared first, then minus 12x, and then, you know, this is just a 5 here, right? But if you're putting it over here, it needs to either be plus or minus 5. And of course, since that's a positive 5, we would say plus 5. 
And so this is the answer in descending order if you're asked to do that.